Hello everybody, Sift here again, and today I'll be playing Shotgun King, the final checkmate. Now I have a whole playlist on this game, hopefully it's gonna appear at the top right right now, where I was explaining anything, but this game got a huge patch. Uh, in case you don't know what the game is, it's a chess game where you are the king, you move like a king, but you also have a shotgun and you use that as if it's a shotgun, you know. It's going to throw one, let's, uh, and then there are, this is the new big patch, this is the new main change, they added weapons, so this is the main weapon you started with, 4 damage, 3 range, and 55 arc spread uh, which is pretty a lot and we got this new one i unlocked before shooting this video which is three power, firepower one less three range which is the same uh, five less spread which is good and then blade two blade means if something is next to you and has this much life or less you execute it you can one shot it so that, that's pretty much what that weapon is Let's get into it. Let's start running towards the opponents real quick because that's how we open up this game. And here is what Blade was. You just saw Blade in action. An opponent came next to us. He had less life than what he needed to survive. And we smacked him with the Blade. Uh, here, for example, look. It has two life. Boom, got him. Here's the reading. Kill nearby pieces with two life or less without spending any shell. It only makes you not spend the shell. It doesn't give you free turn or anything. Just to be clear about that. Let's run away from the king. And shotgun blast behind him. Uh, let's see what our first passive is going to be. So we can either go with two grenades. Right click to throw a grenade. And add one queen. And add one extra soul slot. Uh, very, very bad choices here. And then two fire range, which is good. And minus one firepower on white squares. Or fire arc is plus 3D on black squares. Here, we're going to go with this. Let's go with two, and two more range. Which isn't really good specifically for the weapon we have. But at least we're going to have a good range, and then also if they come close to us, we're going to do anything else. Uh, let's blast from afar. We don't even need to move, although my damage is, you know, two right now. And now our spread is whatever. Uh, this is a this is a horsey here. Let's get rid of the horse. Let's get rid of the bishop. And let's reload. I don't even need to move. Uh, I'm on a black square, so I have bad targeting, but I at least maintain my damage, right? So we just shotgun blast everything to the ground until we are scot-free. On him. I should not have shot there. We got some blades to do the job. Let's just fill our power up and just just blast RNG heaven until we get the king. Next turn we should be winning here. Two life is not enough. We're not afraid. He can run towards us. Here get slashed. He gets slashed with one life. We're not afraid of anything that has one life. Other choices. Four firepower. Flip card if your shotgun has been reloaded. Okay, so if you reload once, which is literally a welcome gift exactly, you shoot twice with the super damage power and then it's gone. Uh, remove one king, add one bishop. Bishops plus two health, win if all bishops are dead. Okay. And then when you kill a piece, a rat bites the nearest target for one damage. Oh, sounds awesome. Remove one bishop, at six one. Yeah, we're gonna go with this. Let's go with just a million pawns, and whenever I kill something, they eat each other up. Especially, especially for playing here with pawns. To reload, I don't even need to move. Shotgun. Yeah, shotgun again. Pew, 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 pew. It's all about the rats, man. It's all about the rats. Pew, pew, pew. Oh, the rats go... Oh, okay. Chain reaction. First of all, they chain react. Secondly, they seem to just... Exactly. The rats chain react no matter what. Like, the, the rats will appear. I guess, boom. Rattle goes off. Boom, boom. Love it. Love it. The rats are awesome. The rats are completely, insanely awesome. And let's go off. So now we got a thing that hits opponents. Let's get as many pawns as possible. Play a white piece of your choice. Okay, and non-white pieces can't cross the moat in one move. Oh, this is really good for us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna play this because if they go towards the moat with low life, we blade them. Otherwise, we attack them from afar. And uh, yeah, we're gonna also give the opponents a queen. Yep, uh, but we have the moat and we can chill over here. So let's just blast from the other side. If I even hit anything. Uh, I want to stay in black spots so that I maintain my damage if I can. That guy's toast. <laughs> Chain reaction there. Uh, as long as I'm in this line, we are safe. No matter where the opponent is, no matter what, as long as we are here. You see, even this queen that appeared in front of us, she can't really do anything to us, so we're not even afraid of her. Let's zigzag through. Uh, let's blast the queen once. Yep, the queen doesn't have enough life. Get slashed. Off you go, little rat. That was almost a mistake. Shotgun there and slash. Run away from the king. Always run away from the king. Uh, let's chase down the pawns if we can. I don't think we're gonna be there in time. I don't think we're gonna get the pawns in time, so let's just shotgun the king as much as we can. Da -da 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 -da. We The king has two life, so yeah, we win exactly. <laughs> we win, off we go. That was a bit dangerous there at the end, but we got this. What is this? Black flag. At the end of each turn, a random piece takes one damage. That does not include me. Minus one fire range. 
awesome. At one pawn every five turns, perfect. I don't care about pawns. Plus one ammo max. Gain one ammo for each time you kill a pawn. This is also really good for us. Fire arc plus 10, so it becomes a work. Minus one fire power. Minus one fire range. Flip this card if a queen is gotten. Uh, so no downside if I kill the queen. I mean, I want this. At the end of each turn, a random piece takes one damage. I love this. Uh, as an idea, this sounds insanely good. Plag, plag, with assassination. Peace. I'm not a peace. I'm a king, right? So theoretically... Oh, what happened there? Did something happen to both of them there? I think this little poison thing is the black flag, but it felt like the chain reacted or something. Dude, dude. Oh, we hit the king. Nice. Chain reaction. Chain reaction. Reload. Uh, hit wherever. That queen is dangerous. This horse is most likely gonna jump here. Unless I go to this spot, then it's gonna jump there. Uh, I will go to this spot, so I baited to come there. Nice. Chain reactions. Now we can go slash. As chain reactions, chain reactions, chain reactions. <laughs> Look at this. And the plague is insanely awesome. I really have to say I really love, love, love how the plague works right now. Uh, this this queen is a danger to us. And this queen has one life. Just, just mouse reaction, mouse, boom, you're dead. And we win. Wow, this is insanely awesome. We got the plague, plague and the mice. Like everything just chain reacts into each other. Plus two firepower. Coordinate the despots. Uh, flip card if your if your king is not on the board's edge. Ah, that's it. Okay, if I'm on the board's edge, I get to fight power. All the rise plus one ammo max. Reloading without moving lets you squeeze one more shell in the shotgun when it's full. Okay, put one pawn every five turns, which is really good for us. Two knights and fifty. No, no, we're gonna go here. Let's go with plus one ammo max, and also I can swoop over over a charge, right? Isn't this what it said here? Plus one ammo max reloading without moving. Let's you squeeze one more squirrel into the shotgun. Loading without moving. Let's you squeeze one more shell into the shotgun. It's lucky God. When it's full. When it's full. So click to load the shell in your shotgun. Okay, I see. So we got one more of these. And if I click this, I can increase one up there. Uh, which honestly is decent. Uh, let, let the opponents get damaged. Let's uh, let's try to get the, the horse there. Nice horse is done. Now I can reload. Shotgun these... Oh, that was a mistake almost. Let's stay away from this. Queen is done. So now we're super safe. It doesn't matter what opponents do. I can just, you know, reload and just shoot. They will... Uh, yeah, they will not do anything. We, we have... They're getting poisoned. Uh, mices are flying around. Chain reactions are happening. The king is gonna go down from the plague around him. Yep, chain reactions again. Uh, pawns appear every once in a while, but uh, that actually helps our DPS. Yeah, hey king, one life, bye-bye. I mean, it doesn't actually help our DPS because it introduced another three life opponent in the back line and we're doing one damage per turn, but still, it just, it just adds to the chain reaction. Golden aging. <laughs> Minus one HP on the king and the queen. Every 10 turns, queen and king lose a speed. Okay. And after killing a pawn, promote another pawn if it's the last one. If it's the last one. So this is the, the very, very last pawn. The last of the last pawns is going to transform into something else. So this is just never going to trigger because every uh, five turns a new pawn spawns. So theoretically, this might happen at the very, 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 very end of the match. Uh, which at that point, the king is done. Deal firepower damage to a random non-kin target. Not really. Uh, add one knight every ten turns. No, 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 no. <laughs> We're going to go here. Uh, this should not trigger ever. Unless I did not understand how this says, uh, what it means. Unless I'm like completely wrong on what the explanation is said there. I uh, I cannot possibly fathom how that would be an issue. Let's reload maybe. I, I want to get rid of the queen by the way. I may issue is the queen here. Okay, the queen has like one life. If I just hit the queen, we're winning. Chain reactions! Chain reactions! The flag! It's the flag, man! It's actually the flag! <laughs> no joke, it's actually the flag. Oh, I missed. How did I miss that? Yeah, whatever, it doesn't matter. Uh, we can just expect the chain reaction to do their job. Off to the king you go, my little mouse. <laughs> Over there on the left, you see what happened? I missed. How did I miss that, man? Seems like the plague is not a... Oh, the plague is getting kills. I was on the assumption the plague is not getting kills. But that was a wrong assumption. Shotgun. And we won. Easy enough. Wow. Wow. We are insanely powerful. Plus one ammo max. Add one extra soul slot. Ammo max is down here, right? Add one knight after 10 turns. Open a path in the moat. Open a path in the moat? Are you serious? No. Uh, remove one knight and add two pawns. Pawns move faster. 
Did your bullets have a chance to pierce through target? Yes, <laughs> yes. I want the one to find pawns. It's me against pawns and one queen. And we can even pierce, have piercing bullets now. Now, pawns moving faster is in general really dangerous. Uh, any move moving faster is dangerous. Uh, but, well, when we have chain reaction, yeah, the queen just died out of the blue. Uh, we, we don't really care. The only thing I need to do is maintain the control of this side of the map. And we shouldn't really be uh, in any danger whatsoever. Yeah, mice, boom, boom, boom. Uh, this guy just needs to go down. And at that point, we have won. Yeah, the king is dying on his background on his own. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I don't even need to care about this the opponent side of the board. Deal 10 damage on random enemies. Okay, could help. Add two pawns, add one rook, and rook loses life. Or, uh, queen loses two speed but can't die. And we gain three blade. Uh, queen not dying is bad for me. The blade is awesome. The blade is that I can execute uh, opponents that have five or less life. But honestly, do I even need the blade? I, I don't need the blade. It doesn't even make sense for us. We are the plague bringer. Uh, deal 10 damage to random enemies is good on demand. And then add two pawns, add one rook is also uh yeah the rook has one minus one life so this is just add two pawns pretty much as the rook is going to be pretty relevant as the moment he gets into the trench he's he's like toast we're not gonna allow him to do anything uh and honestly i think i should use this uh this thing instantly whenever i can whenever i find the the you know what now would be a good chance that would be a decent chance because now this is gonna do some chain reaction of mice ah maybe i didn't use it completely perfectly but doesn't matter, you know, it doesn't really matter. Because these mice, yeah, bye-bye queen, bye-bye you. King is at three life right now. Uh, the left side has one life, so I'm gonna assume that if one of these two get plagued, we, they, they both die. Okay, that got hit, this got hit, that got hit. You see? Chain reactions and probability. <laughs> I, I, was, I saw that both of them had one life, so whoever of the two died would send the mouse other to the other one, so easy enough. What is this? When you reach the waypoint, choose a disruption effects and play an extra turn. So this is going to make me go somewhere specific. Remove two pawns and add a rug. Not really. Once per turn, you can jump over a nearby piece for one damage without ending the turn. Okay, that could maybe help. King and queen get health. Um, I mean, yeah, I could do some chain reaction with jumps and whatnot. Remove two pawns and add a rug. No, no, we're going to go here. I do enjoy the madness of um, the simplicity of what is happening. I don't want to add more enemies on the board. Okay, we're gonna use this a bit later, is what I've decided now. Maybe it wasn't the best way, the way we played it. Look at this chain reaction of mice, let's go! Uh, here's the queen. I do how much damage? Two damage, let's go away from that. Okay, I got the queen, the rook is also down, I think now is a good chance to go for this. We don't have that many points on the board, so this should start some kind of chain reaction here. Nice, nice, nice buy, got them all, got them all, got them all! Oh, we actually triggered the event. <laughs> I was not expecting that to happen. Okay, uh, I guess reload and wait for the bishop to come. And um, yeah, I mean, king is gonna die from poison or from mice or from something. I don't even need to cross the moat. Well, he died from the plague, I guess. <laughs> oh, let's see what we're gonna get. Slows down white and black backup cards by 50%. Okay, so we get less uh, pawn spawned. Which is good for us. Injured pieces lose to speed. Also really good. Old pieces lose one speed. Nice. We lose a blade. Ah, okay. But they also get one HP. No, the one HP gain is bad for us. We don't want opponents to have one HP because it's going to hit the plague a lot. It's going to make the plague complete trash. Strafe mode. Right click a target and fire on your next move. And add one knight every 10 turns. Mm. Well, the knights have three life. So this isn't really that bad. And this is a bit irrelevant for us. It could help with shooting and moving, uh, to be honest. This is really good. Like, honestly, it's really good. But this here, the plus one HP with so many pawns is just straight up not a good idea. It's just going to add too much health to the opponent army. And look, I mean, look how many they have. We can already see here that it would not have been a good idea. Let's overload. Let's move a bit around. Uh, yeah, let's start blasting, I guess. Wait, I need to be on the black spots to be blasting a lot better. Chain reactions. As long as nothing is on the mode, we are safe. Yeah, as long as nothing is on the mode, we are safe. Uh, off to the right we go to maybe cut them off. Chain reactions over there. Uh, one, one, two, one, 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 two. Okay, time to trigger this. If I get some good hits in. Nice, we got some good hits in. The left side should be clear here. 
No, one survived. That is what it is. As you understand, we're pretty safe once again, regardless of what just happened. Whoop, got on you. Hit him, hit him. Nice, hit this thing. Very nice, very nice. I just need to get rid of the queen and we're good to go. Um, yeah, the queen's gonna attack us most likely. Ah, she has one life. She, she can't do really anything. Get slashed. And we win. And we win. Mice. How much left does the king have? He has four. Well, he's not surviving this entourage of madness that's hitting him. He has two life now. <laughs> and he's toast. One life. Well, a plague is gonna hit him. Well, it did. <laughs> bye bye. Off we go to the final wave. To the final fight. So many years. Blah, 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 blah. Here we go for the final fight. Are we gonna beat the king with a plague? Or are we just gonna play the game a different way today? Your shotgun. Shotgun again. Just free DPS on whatever is in front of us. We just need to do, yeah, spread damage, man. That's the only thing we need to do. Spread damage. As long as we're spreading damage, anything that gets hit is helpful for us. And, uh, oh, we missed a bit of, a bit of damage there. Blast a bit more. Uh, one life, two life, one life. Let's let's do some chain reaction and see what happens. That guy's toast. Hit this. Ah, so close. The left side also got DPS down very heavily. Okay, most of these are toast. The queen is trying to assassinate us, which is a real issue. It truly is. <laughs> the chain reaction of mice just spread out the whole void. I love it. The queen has one life, so it's no longer a danger for us. If she tries to corner us, she's dead. Well, chain reaction happened anyway, so she's dead anyway. Get blasted. Is the king running? The king has 13 life. I'm just reloading my bullets. Uh, we're hitting him with the plague on the background. I don't need to do anything with him. We're actually hitting him with the plague itself, not even in the background. Just straight up hit him with the plague. Slap this thing. Okay, the horse is dead. Shotgun there. How much life does he have? He has 5 life. Uh, but yeah, the plague's gonna get him. Another mouse flew off on him. Do -do 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 hit this thing. Now the plague goes out. Hit him. He has two life. So one or two mice and he's dead. He got hit by the plague. So even better. Even faster to assassinate. Send off the mouse. Another mouse. Another mouse. Ah, come on. The mouse missed. I'm gonna get him with the plague. He has one life. I, I don't even want to use any of my abilities. Get him, mice. Nope. Reload. Imagine if you lose right here. Get him, mice. I just promoted him to queen. You know what? Change of plans. Shotgun! <laughs> I actually triggered the ability, the this thing, where, where the last pawn becomes something else. <laughs> it happened. So, yeah, victory! Victory is ours. Let's see the difficulty we unlocked, uh, which is this thing. Add another rook to the opponents. Uh, we did not unlock any of these. Get four shotgun shells capacity, to un capacity which we were not able to get. Harmstead knockback chance, also didn't get. And get six fire range, also not get. So, yeah, if you enjoyed it, drop a like on the channel. If you want to see more, you can subscribe too. Uh, this is one of the, you know, smaller videos, I guess, today. Um, because why not also shoot a smaller one? We don't need to every single time have a huge video that's 40 minutes long. So, yeah, as I said, if you enjoyed, drop a like. It helps out the channel a lot. And, uh, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for all the subscribers and the Patreon supporters and the, you know, the membership supporters. And, uh, yeah, as always, thanks for watching. And see you guys around.